Hello, this is Hawk of the Bean, and I am here with R slash Sabler to get into tumbling again. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. When Oedipus when Oedipus reached Thebes, he encountered a Sphinx. If you want to pass this point alive, you must answer my riddle. What goes on four legs in the morning, on two legs at noon, and on three legs in the evening? The Sphinx asks. Oedipus, pardon for a moment. Probably one of those new Pokemon, he finally replied. There's like six hundred of them. Of them, I'd be surprised if one of them doesn't change its number of legs while evolving. Fair enough, man, spoke the Sphinx. I can't re easily expect you to remember all their names. You may pass. I almost scrolled past this. I freaking almost scrolled past this. Same, actually. Europeans have types of racism I didn't even know existed. <laughs> you could drive for two hours in Europe and pass through 17 different types of racism. Eighteen hundreds pug, twenty twenties pug, nineteen eighties anime girl, twenty twenties anime girl. Okay, they're both valid. I don't know what the problem is. I will not elaborate. You might not elaborate, but I will. Anime girl also have or problems caused by irresponsible breathing. You know that the pug's respiratory problems are caused by inbreeding, right? That's where a lot of dog breeds' problems come from. It's just simply them being a force to be purebred, which just means inbred, which causes more problems as time goes on. If you let at your dog's if you then tr and try and keep up this purebred nonsense, then there won't be any of these stupid problems. So I guess the 2020s anime girls caused by weird inbreeding of anime girls, which just leads to a whole a new load of questions. It's one of these. Dear, my light just flickered. That's interesting. How do court re reporters keep straight faces? These are from a book called Disordered Courts and are things people actually said in court. Word for word, take it down published by court reporter as I had the target of staying calm while the exchanges were taking place. What was the first thing your husband said to you that morning? He said, where am I, Kathy? And why did that upset you? My name is Susan! What gear were you in at the moment of impact?
Gucci sweats and uh, and reboot. Uh, Are you sexually active? No, I just lie there. <laughs> what is your date of birth? July 18th. What year? Every year. <laughs> How old is your son? The one living with you? 38 or 35, I can't remember which. How long has he lived with you? 45 years. <laughs> oh my goodness. This Mia said, yeah, a gravis. Does it affect your memory at all? Yes. And in what ways does it affect your memory? I forget. You forget? Can you give us an example of something you forgot? That was a superior on the attorney's part. Attorney. Now, doctor, is it true that when a person dies in his sleep, he doesn't know about it until all the next morning? Rest of the day. Secondly, did you actually pass the part our exam? I mean, honestly, did they? <laughs> the youngest son, the 20 year old, how old is he? He's 20, much like your IQ. <laughs> Were you present when your picture was taken? Are you shitting me? So the gate date of conception of the baby was August 8th? Yes. And what were you doing at that time? Getting laid. She had three children, right? Yes. How many were boys? None. Were there any girls? Valid question. You don't know if your children were intersex or non-binary. The witness's his response here is actually incorrect. Your Honor, I think I need a different attorney. Can I get a new attorney? How is your first marriage terminated? By death. And by whose death was it terminated? Take a guess. Can you describe the individual? He was about medium height and had a beard. Was this a male or a female? Well, clearly, whatever gender they were, they used he, him, and pronouns. It doesn't really matter what they were born as. Unless the circus was the town, I'm going with male. That sounds incredibly bad. Is your appearance here this morning? It pursues the deposition notes, which I sent to your attorney. No, this is how I dress when I go to work. <laughs> Doctor, how many of your autopsies have you performed on dead people? All of them. The live ones put too much of, put up too much of a fight. <laughs> All your responses must be oral. Okay. <laughs> what school did you go to? Oral. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to do this. This is impossible. Do you recall that time that you examined the body? The autopsy started around 8.30 p.m. And Mr. Denson was dead at the time? If not, he was by the time I finished. 
Are you qualified to give a urine sample? Are you qualified to ask that question? And last. Oh, this one is popular. This one is well known. Doctor, before you performed the autopsy, did you check for a pulse? No. Did you check for blood pressure? No. Did you check for breathing? No. So then, is it, it is possible that the patient was alive when you began the autopsy? No. How can you be so sure, doctor? Because his brain was sitting on my desk in a jar. I see, but could the patient have, been, have still been alive nevertheless? Yes, it is possible he could have been alive and practicing the law. That was beautiful. Ladders. Why can't you like music or girls or something? Everyone posted it of this image, but no one told me the OG was funny as hell on its own. <laughs> Can you guys in the notes take your ladder fetish roleplay somewhere else? No, they cannot. God, uh, today I ID'd ate an old dude buying booze and he pulled out a fake ID with an Elvis pick. Didn't laugh to put out my he went with curly from three students on it. I'm like, okay, please. And he finally pulled out his real license and his legal or name was Steve Sitter. <laughs> that was the devil. <sighs> Best advice I ever got as a writer was it was to pick a hobby that I hated more than writing and stick with it. I'm a runner now, and it's miserable, and I hate it. And writing is so lovely in comparison. Bonus, I'm in excellent shape, and writing gives you a lot of time to think about out writing. I've solved a lot of clock complications while writing. This is such funny advice. Writing is so excruciating that you, you gotta take up self-torture so that writing feels like a fun little break. Are you struggling with being a writer? Well, have you tried poison testing as a hobby? <sighs> it's amazing how ordinary objects can become so significant to only the older. When my aunt's best friend passed away, my younger brother was four years old. At his funeral, my brother went up to her and gave her a, nut, a nickel. She, he told her very solemnly that would make her feel better. She smiled for the first time in days and tucked it in her, her wallet. When my brother was 22, his best friend passed away. Unexpectedly. My aunt drove three hours to be there for him at the funeral. She went up to my brother, gave him a big hug, and gave him a nickel. It was the same nickel she had kept in her wallet for 18 years. And now, it's on a necklace that he never takes off. What I'm trying to say is that the love you put an end to the world will always find its way back to you. That was beautiful. It's freaked up that only Islam has a cube. Every religion should have a cube. Actually, every religion should have a different platonic solid, and there, there should be a big Shintoism and Odecahedron somewhere. Actually, yes. I love that idea. <laughs> this is so not something we've already seen, right?
The future has already arrived! Now you do not need to run and look for public a toilet. Our service allows you to call the toilet like a taxi. Tariffs available. Economy, comfort, and business. Gonna call in a share like a medevac helicopter. Or I know one of GI in the jungles of Vietnam. Imagine ganking one of these to sink down, and a few seconds later you feel it lift off the ground. To basically imagine one of these malfunctioning and raining a crap on the from the sky onto the populace. Dave Matt is banned to drone warfare. This is how Elvis got to heaven. Oh dear. <sighs> oh my goodness. You're a stupid freaking anti SNW low. This vlog is stupid. I hate you crackers. White people suck. Go suck a dick. Looks like I triggered more SJWs. Keep saying these ass because they only fuel my logic. Never forget the guy who didn't remember to hit add on before sending himself hate mail. Love that we're still dragging the four, the four fuckers' corpse around years later so no one forgets their shameful mistake. And no one should. They have to be reminded every day that they are stupid. It's pointless arguing about which link is the scrungliest because they're all the scrungliest on different axes of scrungle. Twilight Princess Link is scrungly in a serious fancy protagonist. It is trained by sort of way. His clothes and skin, sporting an even coating of grime of no specific origin, forever slightly but noticeably a damp and inexplicably smelling, sm smelling faintly of used motor oil. Roth Wild Link is scrungly and he lives alone in a wood sort of way. Surprisingly well groomed because Hollywood stereotypes notwithstanding. Like your hydrant slide, it is not conducive to long term wilderness survival, yet 100% prepared to catch a fish with his very hands, eat like I read a wriggling in front of you. Wind Waker Link is struggling in an unsupervised middle schooler sort of way, charming enough from a distance, but you probably don't want to know what he's got in his pockets. And if you touch him, your hands will come away greasy. Why is he greasy? It's Grungle all the way down! Is Link's nature to be a messy, scruggly guy? <laughs> Sanitization of language in the name of an appeasing advertiser is, is killing the internet, among other issues related to sanitization and to make things corporate friendly. I know it's especially bad on TikTok, but I watch a lot of YouTube and some people have resorted to saying things should like unalive themselves, censor a title, censor words in the video by muting them, and so the videos don't get demonetized or age restricted. I freaking, I fucking hate advertisers. Death to all of them. Honestly, agreed. Unalive all advertisers. <laughs> I had to make the joke. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm going to be an advertiser one day. Maybe not, though. I don't think my channel is ever going to grow, but I don't need it to. It's fun. You know, one of the little things I appreciate about Kid Acris is that how realistically Pitt's outfit accommodates his wings. But the real question is, how does it get... How does he get the, his spandex over the top of his wings? Here's a little drawing I hope oh, I made, hopefully explaining it. See that you slide them over and pop. Even better question, how does it get it out of it again? Right, well, I've seen a few, few people ask this, so I'm back again, this time on my main blog, to try to explain this. 
he's lives in Texas. Wings under the little spandex, and he slides it up. I hope this clears it anything up. Do you have wings? My position has been and compromised. The ground no of my wings. Dang. They have wings. Hang on. <sighs> Sun Tzu is so freaking funny to me because for his time, he was legitimately a brilliant tactician, but I went to his insight is like, if you think you might lose, avoid doing that. Being outnumbered is bad, generally. And consider lying. My personal favorite is his lengthy lecture on the subject of supplies being very important. I cannot stress enough the importance of protecting your supply lines, but all supply lines are expensive at, as shit, so still the enemy supplies at, le at every opportunity. Do not forget to feed your troops. This was a general... Anyway, a more trip tip, but also the way he explained it was hilarious. If you could hear this part, or general, I can desperately dumb the idea uh, down far enough for some rich idiot who has never fed a horse in his life and doesn't know how much to eat. To understand that there is a fundamental limit to how far you can transport a horse before it needs more food than it can transport. Yes, even in a wagon, and sort of the same, only more so, because they also have to carry weapons and so on, and aren't very good at holding wagons. Please, for the love of gods and physics, try to grasp this concept, I am begging you. Forging does not work on this kind of scale. No, it doesn't, I promise. One of the more important things to consider about any historical work is the item that was published for it. The art of war was aimed at fancy nobles, high on philosophy with little practical or military experience who were nonetheless leading armies. Sun Tzu, after desperately trying to explain evenly basic logic to a bunch of upper class twits, basically he sat down and wrote the most elaborate, as per my last email ever, the art of, of war is tedious and irritating when you read it as like a more prose than most brilliant man and ever to kick ass, but it's incredibly a freaking funny when you realize that Sun Tzu had to write every single one of those entries because someone somewhere did not notice ahead of time and made a really, really expensive oopsie doodles. Pretty much. Burn us! Boil us! Do as you will! You have earned the right! As far as issues, I looked it up. He says that you beat him at ice hockey. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds very much like an ice hockey fan. If dangerous predator, why ear shaped like that? <laughs> Ow! A tarot deck where the fool is just a tiny mirror that reflects your face. Hey, that'd be so relatable. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Lawful good, my friend. Neutral good, my boy. Chaotic good, my son. Lawful neutral, my pal. True neutral, my guy. Chaotic neutral, my dude. Lawful evil, my bro. Neutral evil, my man. Chaotic evil, my good sir. Unclassified, my good bitch. <laughs> That's just siblings. The zoo is eating the flag. He gets eaten the flag, but when a crab does it, it's wrong. What the heck? Why is my computer charging?
Oh well. Obama will, will never be half the man, nor love America as much as Reagan did. Obama will never ease many flags throughout his presidency like Reagan did. Reagan holds the current flagging record at 3,463 flags during his presidency. Obama is currently only at 1,072. Here we see he pictured Reagan in action during one of his flag feedings. This speculates to be approximately his 560th flag consumed. What the heck? Hmm. Oh wow, it really was just as simple as that. Okay. Go on computer to start charging again. Don't worry that that's just a charger thingy. <laughs> I love this. Say it with me, kids. Words are not oppressive. If you trust me, offended by them and give them power. Stop being a pussy. Oh, let's listen to the guy pretending to be Walu Waluigi on the internet. They seem able to clearly be rational and smart. Much like I know Waluigi to be. Yeah, me having a Waluigi... A theme to count clear and against my abilities to have a, a fucking valid opinion. Okay. You should have let his words have the power to upset you, Waluigi. Like, wasn't he just making that point? I love that. Hang on, we got a. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, I forgot to close that. Oops. <sighs> Vigilante shit. It falls the topic of a woman who's seeking revenge. Swift and the subject of that doll. First one. Draw the cat eye sharp enough to kill a man. There's 25 plus year olds out here going to unlike and word wars for a woman that sings this in 2022. I'll never understand it. I'll never take you seriously either. I googled this and it's freaking real. It's not edited. You could have locked me in a room for two months to come up with lyrics to add in a joke for a joke about her writing. And I wouldn't have been able to come up with anything nearly as vapid and terminally lame as this. Yeah. What? The 2016 presidential election, but the states are redrawn so that Hillary Clinton wins everything. Oh, dang. <laughs> we are really moving to Long Jersey. Long Jersey doesn't have crap on Supreme California. You idiot, that's Mega Louisiana. No freaking way, Mega Louisiana. Time to le Louisiana purchase too. Ain't hey, make a Lu Louisiana that one song from Undertale? <laughs> oh my goodness. When you apply to place with like se several times with no response, they keep posting. We're hiring ads. Why won't you interview me? Like, seriously. Hmm. 
My favorite work memory from this store will always be, Hey, remember the subway inside the store closed down and let me take a bunch of their stuff for free and now it lives inside my house? They got the freaking chairs? No way, even the even Keep it real and refreshing. What? They have the pictures of bread <laughs> and vegetables. <laughs> mm. Feel the suckling juice of the honeydew. I enjoy both the nose scrunch and the fact it is holding the fruit with both hands and one foot. Bears like honeydew, I guess. Oh dear. We're out of time. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I do not know what I'm doing tomorrow. I might have actually broken a promise that, about something I was supposed to do today. I do not remember. I have the memory of a goldfish. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but, but until then, goodbye!